Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. Seems like Don Sweeney just realized the offseason has started. He's been a busy man the past couple of days. We have another Bruins signing. Let's talk about it. The Bruins have re-signed RFA forward Zach Seneshin to a one-year deal with a $700,000 cap hit. It is a two-way contract, but I think he's going to get a pretty good shot at making the NHL lineup this year. His entire NHL career has only been six games so far, putting up a goal and two assists, and he's a plus one for his career. Last season with the Bruins, he played in four games, putting up two assists, and was a plus one. He played in 42 AHL games last season for the Providence Bruins, scoring seven goals, nine assists for a total of 16 points, and was a plus four. His entire AHL career, he's played in 174 games, putting up an even 33 goals and 33 assists for a total of 66 points. So the stats aren't anything amazing, and this player is never going to be worth that 15th overall selection in the 2015 draft. But he's on our team now. We have him re-signed. Yes, we'd all like Matthew Barzell instead, but he can still be a good player for the Bruins. And we're going to talk about where I think I see this player fitting into the lineup and where the Bruins might see this player fitting into their lineup. The start of this season is going to be interesting. We're likely going to be missing both Brad Marchand and David Pasternak, and this means some big opportunities for quite a few Bruins. Whether it's the newly acquired Craig Smith, some of the younger guys like Anders Bjork, Andrzej Kasha, Trent Frederick, Jack Sednica, or even Zach Seneshin. I could see Seneshin getting a big shot here to start the season. I don't know if he'll jump into the top six. They'll likely move Craig Smith up, and then some of the higher-end players like a Sednica might get a shot in the top six role, but I think Seneshin could fill in really nicely next to Charlie Coyle. I do see Seneshin as being a third line guy. I think his ceiling is probably 15 goals. He has a little bit of a scoring touch, not worth a first round selection kind of scoring touch, but still can put the puck in the back of the net. And you need those guys who can get between 10, 15, 20 goals for you. I see him capping out at that though. And I don't think he'll get a shot there all season because likely Craig Smith will slide down next to Charlie Coyle if we're at full health, but maybe Seneshin can move down to the fourth line when we're at full health. Bring you a little speed. He is 6'1". He can play a physical game. So I'm not totally giving up on Zach Seneshin yet. I think if he gets a legit shot here with the Bruins, he can be a nice player. We have him signed at one year, which it's a prove-it deal. It's the lowest cap hit it can be. So hopefully the Bruins start developing some of these guys. They break out, and it makes it easier to move on from some of the other players. If we get so many of these guys stacked up in the bottom six, it's kind of weird that we signed a guy like Greg McKaig. I'm glad we didn't bring Nordstrom back because we're starting to pile up on a lot of these bottom six forwards. Maybe we start to move them out, get a defenseman to help us out, package them all together, get draft picks, get a top six forward, who knows? But it's going to be interesting if some of these rookies come in and play well, especially if they get an opportunity in the top six with Marchand and Pasternak being out, we just might find some players. And hopefully one of those players is Zach Seneshin. That's all I got for you in this one. Let me know your thoughts on the deal down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like. And if you haven't already, subscribe.